at UC Medical Center this morning, but the flames weren't the biggest cause for concern today. News 5's Christy Davis is showing us how it started and the impact on patients. The assistant fire chief called it one of the most difficult types of fires to fight, not just because of the way the fire can spread, because of who it affects. It was scary going into it. It's my dad's first time ever being in the hospital, and, and look what it and look what happened. <laughs> Instead of waiting for her father and uncle to come out of kidney transplant surgery, Tyanne Mallory and the family evacuated when a fire broke out in the UC Medical Center basement. It happened around 8:30 in the morning when a welder's torch sparked furnace filters. This wasn't a small fire. Hospital personnel tried to battle it with extinguishers. Uh, they were unsuccessful. Firefighters headed out in minutes, but it was the smoke that forced some to evacuate. And then all of a sudden, the lady at the front desk started ushering out. The doors had closed and locked. And um, then she went out and opened them up, and we walked out there, and the hallways were flooded with black smoke. The smoke got in the air ducts and spread to all nine floors. Surgeries continued, but firefighters helped move several patients, including some in ICU, to other parts of their floors until the air cleared. And it takes a lot of personnel and a lot of staffing to move one patient, trying to keep their IVs intact, their oxygen intact, their different medications, everything in place as you relocate that patient throughout the hospital. Creating a tougher weight for loved ones. It's very scary. My son's in, you know, critical, he's stable, but critical, and I would love to get back up there and be next to him when he wakes up. Hospital staff did try to keep families notified. Mowry got this buzzer to let her know when her father is out of surgery in hopes that she'll be there when he wakes up. At UC Medical Center, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5. One of the workers trying to put out the fire with an extinguisher did have to be treated for smoke inhalation.